Hey guys, Nikita here. Very quick and useful tutorial because one of my community members asked that how to create this kind of GIFs. So you'll also see they load pretty much instantly. They don't lag, they are very good quality and they have a very small file size. So I will show you how to do this in Photoshop. It's, I guess, the best way. You can also do it with some websites, but then, yeah, it's not so, doesn't look so good and you don't have so much control. So what you will do is just uh, here go to Photoshop and you will open file and open and you go to your image sequence. So it's very important that you <laughs> like always have to, you, you should render out those frames separately. So in an image sequence, because yeah, you just have more control and all that stuff. So I have here an image sequence of yeah, an iPhone hitting the rock and then it's exploding with some effects and all that stuff. And you see here it's 000, 001, 002 and all that stuff. So you have to select the first one, so 0000, and then click here image sequence and then open. And here you have to select the correct frame rate. So in this example, it was 24. And now you see you have the video group, but uh, yeah, you can't do anything. So you have to go to window and timeline. So you have this thing here and then you click, um, yeah, spacebar and then you see it's loading a little bit and yeah, now it's smooth. And also what you have to click here to, to the settings and loop play, uh, playback. So it will loop. And now what you uh, sh can do is you go to file and export and save for web legacy. So now you see, um, your preset is mostly likely on JPEG. So create a GIF and then it will convert. So Photoshop is a little bit slow in that regard. Um, yeah, you can also do it in After Effects, but you will see here in a second you have a lot of options. So this is good. So let it load for a second. Perfect. So now you see this GIF would <laughs> take 20 megabytes. So that's definitely too much because it's still in full HD. But the thing is, it's important for this kind of, you can put it on your website or Behance. But in this Behance um, example, you see this preview. So if you just click on any random um, project, you see you have this preview window here. And this preview window here is if you check the uh, size of it. So the width, it's 1400 pixels. So it's more than enough. If you render out your GIF with 700 pixels, then you can just put one by one uh, by side. So you go here to your Photoshop and with just 700 and press enter and then it will yeah, resize that. So that takes also a little second. And now you see it's from 20 or 19 megabytes to 3.7. And now you can also click on play and you will see how it looks. So now you have a lot of different options. So first of all, the colors will, I guess it will start with 256, but you see it's 4.1 megabyte, but we don't have so many colors. So try to go uh, down with the colors first. 128, you see it's 3.7 megabyte and it still looks fine. And then you have some different algorithms here. And here you really have to play around and just uh, try different out because some look better, some look worse. And you have just to see, okay, we don't have many colors here. So um, yeah, so now this adaptive or selective is fine. So 3.7 megabyte. And that's already um, pretty cool. Uh, maybe also, I think you start with lossy, it's zero. So you see everything looks nice and clean, but you can also try like five or 10 or 15 or something, because if we create lossy 15, for example, 3.7, but it still looks good. Of course, it's a little bit, yeah, you have this noise and artifacts and all that stuff. But 3.7 megabyte is very good for a GIF. It's just, um, yeah, will load pretty fast. And also you have here different, um, again, a different um, kind of algorithm. So here that looks even a little bit cleaner. And you have this, you have this kind of, yeah, grid as or pattern. But yeah, also you can try the noise, but that is even more. So in that example, just I go with diffusion and 3.7. And that looks pretty fine. And yeah, you have here a lot of more options, but mostly you can, yeah, play with the lossy, with the colors, with those algorithms, and also here with this pattern and diffusion. And then, yeah, you can just save it. Let's just save it here on the desktop and just call it test, save it. And here you have it. So if we click on it, you see it, that looks pretty fine. It's just 3.7 megabyte, 
So create a new project with Behance, make one left, one right, and it loads fast, it's not laggy, it looks good. And yeah, I hope that helps and leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorial.